Hello, ladies and genitals and non-binary people. Today, we are doing a very, very impromptu video. I actually filmed this the other day and I didn't like it. I recommend that you watch this to the end because if there's anything I can guarantee, it's that at the end of this video, I would have opened your eyes up and you would feel a lot better at the end. Recently, I've just been thinking about how normalized plastic surgery is, getting filler is, it's almost ubiquitous and I think it's ubiquitous now because of social media. Now, someone commented recently, they're like, Simone, I don't think it's just social media, I think it's the media and I completely disagree. A few years ago, filler had just started to take off, thank you to Kylie Jenner, she really like started the whole big lips thing, the BBLs, the butts, whatever. And then we got TikTok. I think TikTok really took it to the next level because suddenly right in front of you, there's ordinary people getting this done. Like, do you remember back in the day when people were getting work done, it was mainly just celebrities and hearing someone you know getting work done was very, very uncommon. So slowly filler started to become normalized and then nose jobs. This is something I noticed. Suddenly I'm like, why the fuck is everyone on TikTok getting a nose job? Why is it so common? Everyone being turkey now. And then I was like, wait a minute, love. At what point, at what point did we start to, instead of accept ourselves, we started to just want to change everything. Can you imagine what it's going to be like in a few years, in 10 years, five, 10 years? What did I talk about? Yeah, so in the media. The media did not push this, it is social media. People are oh, society pushing this on us. Y'all are forgetting we're society, we are society. One person gets one thing, then the other person's like, hmm, maybe I'll do it. It's a chain effect. Before you know it, one person changing one thing, the next person changing another thing, it creates, yes, a chain effect. I just said that, I'm repeating my words, I'm not thinking. It creates a chain effect, and before you know it, the beauty standard has changed. I mean, that's exactly what happened with Kylie. Back in the day, people didn't really think about their lips at all. There was no small lips are beautiful, big lips are beautiful. It was kind of whatever. Kylie got it done. It only takes a few more people to get it done, especially influencers or other celebrities. And before you know it, other people are doing it as well. And now, what is the new beauty standard, big lips? It's a chain effect. We are society. We cannot blame society. There is no one to blame because you're not gonna be like, hey Kylie, like fuck you for getting big lips. She was insecure about it, it's fine. But that's the effect of having powerful people, influential people changing something about themselves because it makes other people wanna change something about themselves. Do you remember back in the day, you know what the beauty standard was pushed? Victoria's Secret models, skinny women. But don't you think it is so much better to idolize VS models? people who are naturally beautiful, people who actually work to have the body they have, as opposed to people who are just surgically getting the bodies they have. I miss idolizing Victoria's Secret models instead of people like Kylie Jenner and Instagram models who are very, very obviously fake. We are society. We change the beauty standard. You can't blame someone else for it. Anyways, the problem with getting one thing done is it opens up a doorway. You get one thing done, Trust me, you're gonna get a little bit addicted. Suddenly you're looking at yourself and you're like, hey, my cheekbones are kind of flat, maybe I'll get filler. I mean, I just got my lips on, I'll just get some more filler. And trust me, the nurses push it onto you as well. If you go into a clinic, they're gonna identify other things about you. They'll be like, hey, you need a little bit of Botox here. You'll be like, really? I never even thought about it. The beauty standard is so warped right now. So warped, and I'll tell you how warped it is. Back in the day, 2019, I deleted social media for half a year. I made a video on it and I, in the video, I only deleted it for 30 days, but I actually extended it to six months. I just didn't make a follow-up video. Number one, happiest I ever felt. Number two, when I got Instagram back, I followed 1000 models, Instagram models, and they looked weird. They looked weird as hell to me because it's suddenly like I could see natural beauty again and I was looking at them and I'm like, bruv, I just see filler. You all look the same. This is so weird to me. My beauty standard was so warped that I couldn't recognize natural beauty. I would literally look at someone and think like, you're kind of pretty, but you need lip filler or like you could use an eyebrow lift. And after I deleted social media, I didn't think that way anymore. In fact, 
people with filler looked less attractive to me. Think about it. We're fixing things that are not even broken to begin with. People getting nose jobs so they can get that tiny, wolfy, Cindy nose. I feel like some people do not even consider if that nose will look good on them. They just want it. Babes, babes. It doesn't even look that good on everyone. You all look the same. Don't forget that just because you're changing something about yourself, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna look better. Smaller noses do not necessarily look better on people. Like if you get a nose job, do not think that you're automatically gonna look better because you might not. Secondly, bigger lips. Some people should just not get lip filler. Look at her, small lips, beautiful. Not everyone needs to get work done. You should, if you want to get work done, you get it according to your face. You don't get it according to the beauty standard. Because trust me, if you're pretty, you're pretty. Like, it doesn't matter if you're not fitting the beauty standard. If you're pretty, you're pretty. That's it. This isn't even about the beauty standard, honestly. It's more about how people are changing themselves as opposed to accepting themselves. And how this is going to change even more over the years. Like, I really think, before you know it, everyone's going to look fake. People who don't even need work done, get work done because they don't feel good enough. Or maybe they just get it done because like, hell, why not? Just do it. Accept yourself instead of changing yourself. Because if you change one thing, I promise you, a doorway will open. It is not necessarily gonna make you feel happier. In fact, you might even just pick out other things you don't like about yourself. Because before you know it, you're gonna be trying to achieve perfection. What is perfection? It doesn't even exist. Megan Fox is such a brilliant example because you know, She's seriously so beautiful. Back in the day, she peaked. You guys know what I'm talking about, peak Megan Fox. And then she started to get work done and you lose sight of how you look. You think the more work you're getting done, you're gonna automatically look better. No, she looked worse. Now she's dissolved her fillers, she looks a lot better. And you see, that's what happens with a lot of Instagram models. They start to get work done, they lose sight of it. They think the more filler, the better they're gonna look. No, God and the universe intended you to have this face. Okay, I promise you the face you have is perfect the way it is. And people overvalue how much you look. People overvalue how much you look. Trust me. Your looks will fade. You know what lasts? Who you are as a person. Have you ever met someone with a beautiful personality and thought they were ugly? No. Have you ever met someone with a beautiful face with an ugly personality and then you thought they were ugly? Yep. It's your vibe. It's your vibe that makes you beautiful. It is who you are that makes you beautiful. You're so much more interesting than your face, I promise. Your energy is what makes you beautiful. It is not your face. Your face, your body, boring. It will fade. Who you are is forever. <laughs> That's quotes. Something else which will show you how distorted and warped beauty is right now is when I was younger, before Instagram became like super fake, I used to take like a million selfies and I would like all of them. It was, I would like go through and be like, shit, I like all of them. Like, which one do I pick? And now it's going through them and trying to find one you like. Cause you look at it and you're like, hmm. You automatically compare it to something you have in your head. You see all of these perfect people on Instagram, on the internet, and you're like, hmm. Something's not quite right about my photo. It's not like you're explicitly making a comparison. Oh, I don't look like Madison Beer here. Maybe you do that, I don't. It's not an explicit comparison, it's just, there's something like off here. There's something off. <laughs> and that's because you've internalized that beauty standard, whatever. But yeah, I don't really care much for beauty standards personally. I'm confident in the way I am. Literally 2% of the year, I will get into a hole and be like, oh my God, I don't like the way I look. But at the end of the day, I love myself. I accept myself. I know that I'm uniquely beautiful and you are too. Try to avoid getting filler if you can, because it's going to age you as well. Lips are okay, but when you get like cheek filler, under eye filler, there's so many problems which can come with it. It can migrate, it's expensive in general, and it stretches your skin out. Injectors are gonna tell you it doesn't stretch your skin, but it does. Cheek filler especially migrates. Honestly, lips is whatever in my opinion, but you just gotta be careful that you don't open that doorway into getting other things done. Anyway, Kathleen and I were at the clinic the other day. They give you like a menu, and it's genuinely like you're ordering something like, mm, I'll take this, that, 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 thank you. If you come out, you're a different person. Yeah. Anyway, we were in for Botox in the jaw. I grind my teeth, so just gonna stop my grinding, allegedly. 
Anyway guys, I would really encourage you to normalize accepting yourself instead of normalizing getting surgery. Thank you TikTok. Everyone is going to look the same soon. Where is the natural beauty? I can't see it anymore. It's disappeared. Take a social media break, especially Instagram, especially TikTok. I'm gonna make a TikTok video going off of it. TikTok is evil. I said what I said. Turn on post notifications for that video. But anyways, and if you're angry at this video, well, I ain't gonna say anything about that. Bitter people, work on your vibe. Okay, <laughs> I love you, bye. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi otra madrina dijo que sí Este de aquí me hizo llorar Este otro me dice marica Este otro de mí piensa mal Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra Nadie va a comer, ir hambre, morir Madre quiero saber En verdad quién soy yo Y si, tal vez tengo un síndrome Que alguien traiga mis pelucas verdes Ten medicamentos